What's going on guys, Balkan Architect here, and today we're going to be talking about Revit families. Well, we're actually going to be talking about the main differentiation between the main two types of families in Revit. Now, when it comes to Revit families, we have the main two types. Now, we have some system families and we have some component families. Uh, now, the main difference is uh, basically where these families are constructed and how are they saved. So system families are all of the families that you build within your Revit project and you save them only within your Revit project. So these would be walls, uh, perhaps uh, curtain walls, stairs, maybe uh, things like roofs, floors, things like that. Things either that have layers or that are constructed only within your projects. Railing, for example. Uh, now, component families are all of the other families, so uh, doors, windows, uh, components, so all the furniture, things like that. Everything that can be saved as a Revit family is a component family. Uh, now that was kind of a quick rundown and this whole tutorial is going to be uh, how to approach building these families, how to approach editing them, loading them into the project, removing them from your projects, and pretty much uh, all of that basic stuff when it comes to uh, use of Revit families. So that's what this is going to be all about. Now before I get into that, if you're maybe more interested in some uh, longer type courses uh, for Revit, either beginner, beginner, intermediate or advanced courses. I've got all of those and they're up on my website, first a link in the description. Also you can find some of my courses as well as all of my Revit project files, over 400 files so far. Yes, I've done a lot of Reviting over the years. So that's available on my Patreon, that's going to be the second link in the description. Okay, so with that block of my websites out of the way, let's get straight into the tutorial. Okay, so here we are in Revit and the first thing that I would like to explore is how loading these two different types of families work. Uh, so first, let's take a look at how do we load in the component families. So you probably know uh, loading component families is extremely simple. You can either go here to the insert tab and then go uh, just into load family and that will open up your uh, family browser or you can go to one of the component family tools. Uh, so for example, that includes doors. Uh, here, as you can see, you have that lo load uh, family button. Uh, you can go to window, again, load family, and you can go to component, and then again, load family. So if you just click there, you can go to one of these, and maybe let's go to furniture, and then we can load in a flat screen TV, which, as you can see, now it's loaded into our project. Uh, now for system families, usually these are either built within the model, they come within the template, or of course you can load them in. Uh, now it's a, uh, it's a bit uh, more difficult because you don't really have the option to load in a specific system family. Uh, the uh, only option that you do have is if you have that system family within a different project. Uh, so here I've got this uh, house project and let's say I'm just going to go here to the wall tool. Uh, go into edit type and let's create a new wall. Let's call it a test uh, wall. Okay, test wall, click OK. And uh, now for the structure, I'm just going to increase this quite dra dramatically. Click OK. Uh, OK again. And now, as you can see, this is the wall that we have. So it's extremely wide. Uh, now, if I were to transfer this wall into the other project, what I can do is just select it, uh, uh, type in Control c to copy to clipboard, or just go here to copy to clipboard, uh, then go to the second um, project and just type in Control v to paste it. Uh, you will get this uh, kind of a uh, duplicate types pop-up. You just click OK and then it will allow you to place in this element. And you can just delete the element. The element isn't really uh, important. That wall, particular wall segment isn't important. Uh, what is important as soon as you uh, paste that in, uh, it will appear here as the test wall, as you can see. Now that's one of the options. The second option, perhaps, if you have multiple elements, is it's not as simple as just copying and pasting a few walls or uh, stairs. Uh, you do have the option to go here to the Manage tab, and now we have the uh, Transfer Project Standards. And if I open that up, uh, you will get this uh, large menu. 
and then uh, you can uh, pick out the categories uh, so you can for example uh, basically transfer all of the wall types so if I could just go to ch uh, check none and just uh, s select uh, wall types and here uh, I can copy from well the the other open project click OK and now as you can see it will uh, transfer all of those now here in this case because we just have the, the same walls as we have in this project uh, it's uh, telling us that it has to override those or maybe just to import the new ones uh, so that's that's just a, another way that you can transfer these system uh, families from one project to the other next we have modifying families uh, now modifying uh, families I, I guess there uh, the the points go to the system families because system families are quite easy to modify so for example here for walls we just go to edit type we duplicate uh, the, the type so we can create a new one and then we just go into structure and we can uh, insert some layers uh, we can add different thicknesses we can play around so it's uh, it's quite easy to add different uh, to to add the different layers for example for this wall and to change up the structure so on and so forth uh, now for component families for example like this window uh, you can make some minor changes here uh, within your project by going into type properties going into edit type and then again you can duplicate and use some of the existing parameters but that really depends uh, from family to family so some families will have uh, parameters that you can edit either here in the uh, type properties or here in the properties panel itself if they are instance parameters uh, but in a lot of cases the only option that you do have is to go to uh, uh, is to edit that family itself so for example if we place this here I can select that and now we have to open up the family editor and now we can edit this family and for that we have to use all of the uh, family editor tools so just keep that in mind there's a whole new tool set to learn in order to edit these uh, component families I'm not just going to save changes for this one uh, moving on deleting families now deleting families uh, from the model itself is quite easy you just hit delete and there we go the TV is gone uh, but actually removing families from the project when you go here uh, to component and you want, don't want to see this TV over here then well it's uh, a bit more complicated but it's actually the same process for deleting families both for system families and then also the component families so what you have to do is again go to here to the manage tab and here we have the purge unused option uh, now this opens up a whole uh, system of nodes or categories inside of your model and uh, here uh, I prefer to go with check none first uh, as you can see then this uh, number will just default to zero and then search for the elements you want to get rid of so for example that TV let's say we don't want that anymore uh, so here we have to find let's see can we find furniture here there we go uh, furniture expand that here we go we have that flat screen TV uh, so we are just going to check you can either check the whole family or maybe just some of the types that you don't want in this case I don't want the whole family so I'm just going to just select all of the types it's going to say six so we have five types plus the family itself and once I click OK it's going to be gone so if I go here to component as you can see we no longer have that TV family we would have to uh, load it again uh, so uh, basically you would use the same approach uh, so here uh, when you go to purge unused you would just search for perhaps walls and then here we have all of those categories so you can just uh, check independent walls or you can just check the whole category but I don't suggest that uh, you want to keep some walls inside of your project Okay, moving on, uh, let's uh, talk about uh, annotation families. Now, annotation families are quite interesting because uh, one would think that they are maybe either one or the other, but uh, they're actually both. So, if you go here to annotation families, some of these families, for example, uh, your symbols uh, or your uh, components here, detail components, uh, they are going to be just like uh, component families. So, if you select this, 
well you have that added family option now on the other hand your uh, dimensions for example they work kind of like system families so the only way to create those is to assemble them within the model or to copy and paste them from another project or to transfer them by using the transfer project standards option which i've shown you uh, uh, a little bit uh, before in this tutorial for uh, transferring uh, families like walls and roofs and so on uh, so basically uh, it doesn't matter if you're using model categories or model elements or annotation categories or annotation elements uh, both can be either system families or component families in this case dimensions are system families and then detail components or uh, perhaps symbols they're all going to be uh, they're all going to be component families and finally, uh, let me show you kind of a family that brings everything together and that, well, we have a few of those, but for example, let's stick to stairs. Now, stairs are quite interesting and they're kind of the family that uh, kind of brings everything together because it includes both. Uh, so, for example, for stairs, it is a system family, but within the system family, we do have some component families. So, when you go here into edit type for this particular type of stairs, uh, you can include different uh, types of profiles for the stringers, uh, for these uh, here, the, the treads, the risers, everything can include uh, profiles, and profiles are component families. So, these uh, system families do include some component families uh, inside of them uh, as well uh, so uh, as you can see it's uh, quite complex and it's not as straightforward as using one or the other uh, you you have to learn how to use both but it's really important to develop an understanding uh, of the difference between component families and system families uh, so you know which to edit at which time and also it's really important to understand Revit's terminology especially when working in teams uh, the difference between system families and component families is uh, quite quite important okay so that's pretty much it for this quick tutorial or overview of these two main types of families within Revit I hope you have learned something new and interesting and tell me in the comment section below have you and is there anything else that you might want to learn is there a Revit terminology uh, or Revit term that you don't know what it means but it seems important so you would like me to clarify uh, anyways, if you're new to Revit, I suggest you check out my complete beginner course. I've got a, a complete beginner to intermediate 16 hour course. It's available on my website balkanarchitect.com you can find the link in the description of this video and if you're interested in all of my Revit project files check out my Patreon the link will be in the description of the video as well okay so that's pretty much it thank you for watching make sure to subscribe like and share this video and I'll be back with another Balkan Architect Revit tutorial in a few days have a nice day